Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. This week I'm going to start a new series on open robotics and that series is actually going to show you how to program a Scara robot. That Scara robot is a robot that has four axes and we're actually going to run the program right from our compact desk controller. It's a super powerful feature with BNR where you can actually run all the kinematics right from the PLC. You don't have to have a third party robot controller. You're not doing any handshaking between a robot controller and our controller. It's all done right smack dab in that controller from BNR utilizing open robotics. A great feature of BNR. We're actually going to use drives, the same drives we've used in past projects just to move a single axis of motion. We're going to actually get a triple drive and a single drive and that's what we're going to put in our project to run those four axes. All right, let's hop into it. All right, here we are. We have Automation Studio opened. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create our, our new project. Let's go and click on an empty project. And then go ahead and let's name it. We'll call it My First, first Scara Robot. Oops, Robot Project 1. Go ahead and click next. We're going to name the config, our con controller that we're going to use, which is the 44 that we've always been using. So the X20 CP0484. Click next. Then we're going to actually search for that controller. So X20 CP0484. Click on next. Click on the bus base module and click finish. All right, the project's been built. Go ahead and click on the Configuration View tab. First thing we want to do is explode the X20CP0484 heart folder and highlight over Map Motion. Then go over here and click on Map Robotics, then Mechatronic Designs, and then click on Scare. Uh, actually, first, we don't want to do that. Click on Object Hierarchy and then go ahead and double click this object hierarchy right here. And it's gonna load a file over here in the, in the tree underneath map motion. Then the next thing we wanna do is click on map robotics, then this time mechatronic designs, then click on Scara and then click on the 4X of Scara. And that's gonna add another folder with some files in there underneath map the hierarchy object file. Next, what we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna click on physical view, highlight over power link, go over and click on motion, and we're gonna type in a drive that we're gonna use. So the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a three axis drive and then a single axis drive. As you recall, the P3 drives are super powerful that you can have up to three axes per single drive. So we can run three of the four servos for each axis of the SCARA and then one other additional drive for the last axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in AEI 8X8 MWT, T standing for triple axis, and then just go ahead and just double click this one right here. Notice it gets added in over here, and then we're going to skip these pages. So click, skip that, and then click next, skip that, click next, skip that, click next, and skip that, and click finish. Next we're going to add a single axis drive, so change the T to an S in the search bar, and then go ahead and add this first 8EI8X8MWS10. And then go ahead and click skip page and click next, and then skip page and hit finish. Go ahead and hit save all. Now we can go back into the first drive and we're gonna right click on it and click configuration. And then we're going to go to our first channel of this drive and under axis reference, we're going to hit the drop down arrow and we're going to see reference that to G axis Q1. Then go to channel two and do the same thing. But this time we're going to do G axis Q2. And then for the third axis, same deal. And then we're going to do G axis QC. Go ahead and save all and then close out of that. Then we'll go to the last drive and right click on it and click on configuration. Go ahead and click on G axis reference for this channel. And the drop down is going to be G axis QZ. 
So now all of these are addressed to each one of the drives. So each of the axes of the robot is addressed to each one of these drives under this axis reference. Go ahead and hit save all. That's all we're going to do this week. Next week, we're going to actually make a new file and we're going to, that's where we're going to store our G code. G code is what we use to run the robots. And I'll show you how to do that. And we'll kind of play around in the configuration of some, some of the configurations of the controller. Thanks so much for watching this week, everybody. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned a lot about getting your first project started for an open robot with a, on a, with a Scara robot. Like I said previously, in the next weeks, we're gonna get into some of the more configurations of the controller. We're gonna actually start looking in how to make our G code. That's the code that actually runs the robot and actually programming this. All right, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content similar to this that may be of interest to you and your friends, and go ahead and share that with your friends. Have a great weekend and please stay safe.